Hey there, what's up? This is Tommy, Tommy Fieser. This is Tommy. And in this video, I'm here to tell you about the best watch on the marketplace for multiple reasons. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. That's right. I'm not talking about the Apple Watch or the Android Watch or the Smart Watch or the, uh, I don't know, Technologic Watch. I'm talking about the good old classic, fabulous, small and petite, pink and gray, my preference, uh, LA20WH Casio 3284 watch, this one right here. And in this video I'm going to tell you why it's the best, why it's the coolest, and why it's the most awesome watch I've ever owned. So, here we go. Shh. Slight disclaimer here, uh, it's kind of the only watch I've ever owned. Actually, no, I did own a different Casio watch before I started wearing this one. I was like, I was, I guess the original gist for wanting to get a watch was I wanted to keep track of how far and how fast I was running, get some data on my run times and stuff like that. How many friends did you have last year? 20. 20, okay, how about for you? 35. 35, how about you? About two. And so when we were on a family vacation, um, I brought my sister's watch and it was cool. I was like, oh yeah, it, it, I needed to see if I actually could wear a watch before buying a $300 smartwatch and to see if I like, you know, could stand something on my wrist. Cause personally I cannot wear boots. Like I really hate that. You, you know, they suffocate my ankles. My ankles get all hot when I'd be wearing boots. So I'm like, well, am I gonna, I'm gonna be all bothered when I'm wearing a watch? I don't know. So I just, uh, I wore a little watch for a while and uh, it was fat, it was clunky, it was in the way. I'd walk down the hallway and it would just hit every single person that I walked by. It was horrible. Uh, I wanted something small and petite and the Apple Watch, Gosh, that thing just sticks out like a sore thumb. I mean, the Fitbit does have a very slim figure. It doesn't seem to stick out that much, so maybe that would have been good. But gosh, I am just a big fan of this LA20WH uh, Casio watch. I mean, I think the W stands for women's, and that's part of why I like it. Because women's watches are tiny. I mean, look at that. That's the size of a quarter right there. So yeah, I got this watch, uh, I think like two years ago at Walmart for like $12. And I think I've, I've slept with it every single night since then, I think except for once. I swim with it, I take a shower with it, I literally don't take it off for years on end. Um, and it's great, it's never had, it did have one problem, I was, um, the buttons got a little sticky when I had it completely soaked in mud, so if you're wallowing in mud, I would take your watch off just for that because the mud did slip through the buttons a little bit and gunk it up. But after washing it and hitting the buttons a couple, day, a couple times, it worked just fine after that. So I'm extremely impressed with the durability of this water resistant. It's not waterproof, it's just water resistant, but you can still go underwater with it and go swimming. I've gone swimming with this thing many times. I take showers usually every day with it on. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. All the features on it work just great. It's exactly what I want. When I was thinking about what I want in a watch, I was like, okay, I want something that tells me the day of the week, the, like, number day of the week, and the time. I want it to have a stopwatch capability and some kind of alarm. And that is literally all this watch does. It is perfect. The screen is so small. I mean, the whole thing is the size of a quarter, and the screen is probably the size of a dime. The actual LED screen. Um, it's just, it's perfect. It's marvelous. I look at other people's watches, and I'm like, whoa, watch out. You almost hit me with that thing, bro. Uh-huh. Yeah, durable. It's got plenty of scratches on it, um, but nothing that's ever broke it real bad. Uh, it, let me emphasize one of the best parts about this watch. $12. $12 for a watch that's rated to last at least five years on a single battery. 
You know how often I have to charge this thing, or take the battery out and replace the battery? Never. It has no holes for a charging port. It doesn't do anything except exactly what you want in a watch. It tells you the time, tells you the date, stopwatch, alarm clock. It even has a little glow-in-the-dark button, which is super handy uh, for seeing what time it is in the middle of the night, if you need to. So if you are thinking about uh, joining the club of watch-wearing individuals, I would like to say welcome, and perhaps consider the LA20 WH8236 or, or whatever. This one. It's a very specific watch. Um, I like it. I think it's the best. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it.